So Stink and I coming back from the Robo Games event, we had a lot of fun. It was it was a good event. Um, obviously, Stink Eye is not really meant to be a top level. I'm going to win the event sort of robot. It was more for fun, and we had a really good time. We ended up going two and two, so it it did okay at the event. And uh, so this is sort of a recap of the damage we got and uh, what's going on with the robot and how it fared from the event. Here's poor Stink Eye after the Robo Games event. Obviously, right now I have the weapon taken out, but the rest of it's pretty much how it came home. Um, this little love mark right here was from um, Magnitude. Did that. This is a 3 16 AR plate that got bent in, a big hole taken out of it. So that's actually a pretty good hit. And in fact, this hit bent up the entire front of the robot. So it was a, that was a pretty solid clobber right there. Got a couple of, couple of dings across the back here on each corner. Bent in pretty good, but not far enough to hit the batteries or anything. So those are just mostly cosmetic. Part of the mount for the eye was torn off. Um, and unfortunately, the eye was destroyed at the event. So I guess at this point, it's just stink. Internally, everything survived fairly well. The electronics are in, are complete, intact. Uh, we did burn up a weapon motor, so there's that to, to deal with. And it's hard to see from this photo, but this section here is bent. The whole nose is bent up, so this bent back a little. And I actually compressed this panel, the electronics from it. You can see how it's bent there. This will give you a better idea of how much that nose is bent back. That was a proper right angle before this event. So that whole nose section is bent back, eh, probably almost a quarter of an inch. <sighs> None of this stops any of this from working. It's still functional. It's not right, but uh, it does at least all still work. You put a new weapon motor in it and this robot's ready to go. The hits were strong enough to bend the frame back. This whole nose of the robot is bent slightly back and so to get a good measure of it, we get a straight edge across the bottom. And you can just see how much the, the nose is bent away from flat. And it's actually kind of impressive because this bottom is a piece of quarter inch steel plate. So the whole thing got bent back. So repairs have been made here. Uh, the weapon motor has been replaced with my one and only spare so it's it's back together um there was obviously the big hole up front that we just welded a patch panel over there were a few little like cracks in some welds here and there that have been touched up um so minor stuff in that regard all of the electronics were intact and worked but there were a couple things that were like dislodged had to be sort of reattached um, it, a little bit of work here and there, but as it sits now, I honestly think it's back to complete and ready to go. So I had this camera set up to run on Stink Eye to really get some onboard footage during the matches. It's a great idea. Um, unfortunately, in the first match, I uh, forgot to turn it on, so we had a match that I didn't get any footage from. And the second match happened to be the match I was fighting Magnitude, and when it came up and hit the, hit the camera mount, it also hit the camera and destroyed it. It, it doesn't work anymore. So um, we didn't get any footage at all. But I do still have the mount, and the camera themselves are fairly inexpensive, so I bought a new one. So if we ever do anything this is again, we'll give it a shot one more time and see if we can get some, get some footage. So Stink Eye was not so damaged that it couldn't be used again and in fact has been sort of put back together into a functional robot. 
I really hadn't planned on this robot having quite the lifespan that it has. It was meant to just be entertaining. But you just kind of never know. There may be future uses for this robot. You'll just have to stay tuned to see.